What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I'm Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me, folks. We're playing uh, Spaceport Sigma, Progressive World Dom. I'm in the second seat. I love, love, love these settings. I've always loved these settings since the map was created. Um, let me play my first turn and then I'll show you what I'm thinking. So check out my open. I really like this open. I think I just have to beat green for the left-hand side. So unfortunately for green, the way we beat a player is by beating the shit out of them. So if I add to this two, I have a seven. Hopefully I have a six V two. Get a perfect roll in the start. I don't want green to spawn troops here, basically. I want to get 100% roll on green. Okay, we don't do any better than that. That's where we stop. We put green under, hopefully, 12 territories, and they won't get the bright idea to involve themselves down there. And red has already chosen to go on the right-hand side. So that open, depending on if green wants to, to fight me for the, the bottom left, that will determine a lot of the progression of the game. So I want to be here. Red wants to be here. Looks like black wants to be here. Get some more green. Yeah. If we get green under 12, they won't really have the velocity to retaliate. Okay. Black rolls 4v2s. That's good to know. Let me show you guys the settings. First of all, we're playing progressive world domination on Spaceport Sigma Auto 60 Expert Automated Bot. Uh, alliances are on. Fog Blizzard's portals are off. I'm in the second seat playing as white. The first position we've Muscaf from Turkey playing as red. I'm the white player, second position. This is uh, the old Chiquita grin face. You want to keep her at GM. <laughs> Black player is Aquatic Raccoon, flying the flag of the USA. Uh, the fourth seat, the purple player's General Howitzer, 18598. In the fifth seat is the green player's Hartley Tamora. I really do hope they get under 12 territories. Okay, so purple would like to contest red from the bottom left. Hopefully green doesn't contest me for the bottom, for the bottom right, rather. Hopefully green doesn't contest me for the bottom left. And then finally, the yellow player's Rita Dagger, Find the flag of Israel. So, one of the things you want to do in your open is you want to take as many territories as possible. I wanted to be in the bottom left position because check out the bonuses on Spaceport Sigma. First of all, let's see what let's actually see what he does. Where do you place? He does. He wants a contest. Okay, so we're gonna roll a seven v three. Shit! I hope he gets bad dice. It'll be a rough game for me if that 7v3 gets good dice. Okay, maybe he's leaving. Leaving is better. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately for green, my only solution to this puzzle is to, to beat the shit out of him. So I'm gonna uh, roll for you too. Are you not very good? Okay, here's how the bonuses work on Spaceport Sim. He got better dice than me. Um, you have, uh, four plus sixes, five plus sixes. Oh, uh, command tower, expedition command, terminal A, terminal B, and Kepler's deck. You have three launch pads, each worth four. You also have Mari Nubian station worth plus four and high bay warehouses worth plus eight. You can hold it. We now see red taking a bunch of territory in the, or sorry, yellow taking a bunch of territory in the middle board. Um, I got slightly unlucky against green. I'm going to start with four troops on top of my three. That's all going back into Green's troops, unfortunately. Um, so, okay, Red decides to take the what is essentially the noob corner of this map. Yeah. I have to punch out Green player. So they're at 15. Uh, so that's that means we're going to put it five troops in. Okay, now they're at 14. That actually helps me. That helps me a lot. Okay, so let's see. If I can get perfect dice, I can shrink this guy. So every three territories I hit costs him a troop. So he's at 13. Now he's at 12. Okay, so now he only gets three troops to start. Do I want to hit that or do I want to remain positioned? to it. I think I want to remain positioned to it because the first thing he hits is a red one, which also reduces the velocity of his future troops. 
And I'm at 23, he's at 16. So I do need to win this, this uh, regional war, unfortunately. How do you feel about an alliance? Put troops elsewhere. I'm going to keep beating you, so put troops elsewhere. Doesn't accept. Too bad. Okay, he's going to have three troops coming in on top of that four. That's only seven. Hits the red one. It becomes six. And then he'll have maybe some to hit me back, but my four will be open to counterattack. It's not good. <laughs> this is a bad situation. Green still choosing to put troops down there is quite bad for me. Black expanding. Kind of cocks up to yellow a bit. All right, once I win the pocket, then I can worry about the rest of the board until I win the pocket. There's nothing much I can do. If Let's see if green decides to put troops elsewhere. That would just be great for me. I would love it if you put troops elsewhere. I'm sorry. I have to keep hitting you, sir. Put troops elsewhere. Maybe put them on this too. Make that bonus that nobody's in. Maybe green punches out to attrition. We'll find out. Okay, purple has a locked six. That six should go here. So we can finish the bonus one, two, three, and four next turn. Does green put troops elsewhere? Nope. All right. So seven becomes a six. It'll start to shrink me. Yep. Comes a five. Comes a four. Lose a troop. Good. Good, good, good. Steps out to leave. Interesting. I wouldn't have expected that play. Yeah, all I do is I just keep pummeling. Actually, this distraction slows me down nicely. So we'll survive. We'll get to the points where the trades start to matter. And we're still holding a decent amount of board in a non-threatening kind of way. We hit four green singles here. We see our first bonus taken yellow in the middle. I don't love middle bonuses, but if it's not addressed, who would even? Black might? Wouldn't shock me if black, would, if black does here. Rolls the two to break. See red roll 4v2s? We do see red roll 4v2s. Okay. Okay, let's still use the slider to get the best possible dice. We also don't open the three line. We now have a five clearly pointed. Finish the bonus probably this turn. Okay, black doesn't. Black takes a bonus of their own. Maybe they have an alliance with yellow. How we feeling, black? Want to be friends? I think yellow breaks you. I don't think yellow lets you hold that next. There's no good reason for there to be two middle position players. <laughs> I really prefer being at one of the ends. So this is my, these two ends are equal. And the reason they're good is you can guard them from a single point. Um, once you've cleared out everyone behind you. But now I'm allied with black. Might as well ally with yellow as well. Might as well ally with purple as well. I'm going to use the alliances to our advantage. Green's fucked, right? Green has no position set. We don't have set yet. Still quite early. So um, progressive on Spaceport Sigmas is, is very positional. Plays a lot like a fixed game for a while. Um, these bonuses are huge, right? Once you hold a plus six, that's extremely impactful. You see how uh, purple fucked up and he needed to have his six here so we could just get an easy take on the one and finish the pocket with a hundred percent rolls this turn doesn't do 
I'm going to leave a locked five because you run out of time. All right. We got not so much to fear from purple. What does green do? Green really needs to put troops elsewhere. Yeah, should have done that last turn. You're in big trouble, sir. Fifteen and ten. I'm at twenty-five and eighteen. Okay, and we do see a bonus hold. So now, does yellow go bad neighbor to black, or does yellow involve themselves in either launch pad? No, they do neither. They involve themselves up at the top of the map. I like that. They're probably just going to get an easy take here and, and strengthen their guards. No, they're actually working on this bonus. Cool. Yellow's in two positions. Very strong. I don't usually advocate going for the middle position, but both ends were fought over. Looks like I've won my battle. And purple has won theirs, but red's going to be pissed off at purple now. I assume green is pissed at me, but green is super weak from that. It looks like black does hold too. So black's going to hold their bonus. Do they go into me? Or do they go into... Yellow. I would worry about yellow now. I think black should be probably incentivized to break here. I don't think red does. Red's kind of in the middle, so red just takes the launch pad. This gets an easy take in guards. No, he's greedy and he takes the launch pad. Wow, red's a greedy player. Greedy player. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give black a line out. Hope they take it. Hit me. We'll take our plus six on the fourth turn. It's a bit slow. Does black hold? Black holds, and where do the troops go? Into yellow? Nope. Into Pete. Fuck. All right. Too bad for Pete. <sighs> Very too bad for Pete. Okay, no, he sits on the launch pad. All right. All right, all right. So I'm pseudo card blocked from that. Not sure what that messaging says. How about an alliance? Yeah, you got it. I, I want yellow to attack black here. I mean, I think I have to hit that nine, which I don't like, which means that I also have to break his bonus, which I don't like. Seeing that nine there isn't good for me. All right, because you see how the, the connectivity of the map, right? It locks me into this position. Black can't hold that. Black holds that. Do I preempt the hit? Do I start the war? Green is so fucked. Okay, I'm going to lose that top left pocket. I'm asking yellow to break black. That would really help my game. I don't think they would, and I don't think they should. But if they did, it would be really good for me. I'm going to hollow at that side of the board. Okay, green's almost dead. Black putting their stack here is just, I'm not sure exactly what he's thinking, but he's not giving me any room to maneuver. So I have to hit that nine. I don't want to hit a nine right now. 
I have no desire to hit a nine right now. And then if I hit a nine, I might as well break his bonus. I mean, you can't let this guy have a plus eight, too. Someone has to do something about yellow. Thankfully, yellow is not my problem right now. Yellow can't actually touch me. Green's going to die without really having anything to do. I don't hit the nine. Okay. Well, here's my move. Don't want to hit the nine, so I don't. Because <sighs> black obviously sees that yellow is crazy strong. Maybe black takes this bonus. Even then, that does nothing for me. I'm fucked. He breaks me. I should have just preemptively broken. I was going to try and take that launch pad and give me zero cards, right? He's not very good. He is taking the launch pad. Okay. So if you're the black player here, guys, you have to give your opponents card options. <laughs> Once I'm out of card options, I have no choice but to hit you. And I'm gonna. He sets after me. Now I have to punch through a 14. Fuck. All right. What does purple do? Actually, I still have kill lines on green, interestingly. Maybe I get the green kill. Oh, fuck. Did I spill coffee all over myself? <laughs> Spaz. Spazmataz. And there's green's final exterior position. <sighs> Don't bother me. Recording a green shirts. <laughs> <coughs> Ah, fuck it. Let's win this game first. All right. No set for green. No set, no set, no set. No set, no set, no set. Let me kill you on five cards. Nope. He set. It's too bad for Pete. Okay. I will be out of card options. No one's addressing yellow. Oh, no. I, I, I got a card option. Fuck yeah. All right. We survive, folks. We survive. Black might take the green kill. Okay. Yellow break black. No. Yellow still guard. There's no reason for yellow to break anybody because he's, like, got a ridiculous generation. This is really weird. I guess this is what alliances do to these settings. This is also what nobody quitting does to these settings we're actually still in a six player that's super rare yeah so yellow's a garter but he can afford it guarding is usually not something i recommend but look he's got 70 fucking troops everyone else in the 30s ever green green's toast unfortunately yeah yellow didn't need to do much except bank their advantage almost no way yellow can lose this game red's gonna remove the purple exterior force purple into yellow i like that uh trades gets the six so i get the eight remove the purple exterior oh you're dumb you gotta do that okay so again i don't want to hit uh black l-shaped What is that? Emergency generators or hobbles lounge? Emergency generators. Okay. Really make these territories a bit more obvious. Hobbles lounge. There it is. And set. Okay. So let me get my card exterior still. And now we just point an even larger stack this way. I'm going to fucking hit you. You fuck with me, sir. 
34 troops, single stack position, blacks and big trubs. <laughs> Got the follow-up trade. All right, let's see him go bad neighbor. You just take the launch pad. Guards a little bit. <laughs> Might be a bit late for that, sir. Okay, so black has one exterior position. Magenta has, or uh, purple has one exterior position. I have one exterior position. Um, I have the set on three, so I, I do have the green kill, which is good. Purple sets, they probably remove the black exterior. Uh-huh, maybe not. Maybe they want that kill guard on black. Nobody touching yellow is fatal. Yellow wins this game almost for sure. I'm now just playing to my outs, trying to get a higher placement. Green takes a third card. I'll happily kill you on three. I really do see my war with black as inevitable. He's less afraid of me than he is of yellow. In order to kill green, I have to go basically flat in troops, but it will maintain that exterior, which I need to take cards. So the war with black doesn't heat up. I think yellow actually gets into a war with purple first because purple will run out of options. I'm also going to be able to leverage my speed if I survive. So we get the green kill here. I think poor green got basically bullied by me all game. Where's yellow getting his card? On the two. Yeah, yellow's basically out of card options now. They'll piss someone off with their with their uh, next take. Good thing they have double everyone else's troops, except for red. Red's doing an okay. okay. All right, red, remove the purple exterior. Force the war. Good. All right, so now yellow has to beat purple. I like that. That's not my problem. We kill green here. Green says, well played. I want card options to continue to exist. I'll throw a heart to black here. And pull the stack off. My last chance to basically not here. Pull the stack here. That way, either invasion point. Either, this is a good position to guard. This is the least confrontation. Now I can actually maybe see my war with black is not inevitable. If black invades me on either front, I can reciprocate. If black just takes the launch pad, then we can actually coexist because I have a separate position here until I don't. And then I have to hit him again. But this scenario lets me get two plus sixes and him have a plus six and a plus four and we don't have to kill each other. I really expected a war between me and black to occur, man. <laughs> then again, if he runs out of card options and I run out of card options. We'll see. Nobody's dressing red or yellow. So yellow's card blocked. So who does yellow hit? Don't think they hit purple. Purple's open. They hit red opening a 43 no they hit black taking a 16 this is actually their cheaper card because hitting the 16 black can't retaliate and they'll have to take a whole turn to fortify whereas breaking here does open a 43 ah he's fucked he could skip too is he getting a turn like 20 troops <laughs> 23 troops a turn i mean you don't have to take a card but he does. <laughs> but he does. Okay. Yellow might lose here. Because now he's instigated with black. Black has nothing. It's an expensive card. 
We'll let purple take cards and, and straight block black. Wow. Okay. See, the set's over 20. So black can set and take that is the thing. If black does, that kind of feeds me his own kill. Oh, red's going to remove me. No, red. No, you fool. Okay. Yellow actually could have lost there, but this, this is more likely that yellow wins. I have a set. I have a set. Don't think I trade it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what black does. Attack me. Take, we can trade cards on the other territory. It's going to set, hit yellow. Good. If black goes this way into yellow. I can go this way into red. Yeah, yellow hitting black was not a great move. I think skipping would have been better. Yeah, break. Good. That was on four cards, though. Me skipping was fine because I earned three cards for that kill. But it wasn't great. I'm not happy to skip, right? I'm lucky I have it set. Set's also 35, so someone might get the bright idea to, to kill me at some point. I'm going to fuck up red. Black didn't give me a card. Black's dumb. Not giving me a card. Like, now I hit your 31, right? Or do I bank the trade still? I think I bank the trade a little bit longer. Like, Black must understand I need a card. Oh my god, Yellow's just taking the launch pad. Dude, I have to attack your fucking territory. I have no fucking cards. Do you see it, though? You see how I don't have any fucking cards? Yeah, I'll give you one more chance. And then I fucking kill you. I think I set here, too. All right. I'm going to trade. Makes my kill less profitable. <laughs> Red just cocks up with a... Yeah. So red's cool with yellow. Black's like card blocking me. All right, here's what we do. You see why I have to attack your territory, right? You understand why? You get it? This is your last chance. Give me a card. Yeah. That. Does it move? Does he move? Does he put a stack? Well played. Well fucking played, sir. I think I can kill him, though. Yeah, thank you. He gets it now. <laughs> All right, I, I, I think I just kill him. I think I wait for him to take one more card. Unless red backdoors me. If red backdoors me, I beat the shit out of red, because fuck right off with that. Red might go like this. Let's see if they do. Okay. Yellow threw away their advantage. Yeah. This is why I hate the middle position, because they're surrounded. Cards are getting expensive. I think I just step out. All I do on my turn is step out.
maintain card options for a while. No trades here. Where's the set? 45. Gotta kill a couple of trades, uh, a couple of turns away from my next set. Um, black's looking good. Red might get the black kill before me. That trades him in turn. It also gives them a stack pointed nodded. They go before me. Red might actually kill black here and trade. I don't know how likely that is because it's a very bold move. But it's, they wouldn't go terribly negative. Well, it's a 50 trade. He's at 73 troops. It's less likely they break me, but also possible. I'm going to close the line to them either way. So this would be their turn to make a move. If they just lock their stack, that's ideal. Zets. Okay, he's going to kill black, I think. Hopefully not me. It's way, way more profitable for him to kill black. Steps out on a one point. Breaks me. Breaks black. Okay. Poor black. Okay. So, I can let Black take one more card and then kill him. And and Red is closed to me. This is ideal. It's actually a really good board position. Red can't get cards exterior. You, you removed my exterior, I remove yours. Fuck you. You can't get cards now, break yellow. Fuck you. Yeah, and I have lines on black. Cool. We need the black kill next turn. Too bad for black, unless yellow beats me to the punch. Oh, man. Look at the quality of play. I used to get such easy wins on these settings. People were terrible. Much, much higher quality of play from these opponents. You'll love to see it, folks. People are getting better at risk. If you are interested. Yep, yellow gonna blow through, or uh, purple gonna blow through 30 troops to get a card. Boom. Yellow's lead is now diminished. Yeah, black's laughing. Super curious to see how Red's planning on getting a card. Because <laughs> it's not going to be on me. Hopefully he breaks the other yellow bonus. Starts with another war. I think yellow is a guard. Okay, yellow does have cards, though. And fucks with purple. Okay, this is good for Red. Ooh. Ooh. Brutal. Smaller stacks first. Yeah, because now what? Now you've won the war, but he's, he's got cards. What's the trade? Can I actually kill black set, kill purple set? Is that a thing that's possible? In a pinch? That would be an epic turn. Can we do that? Is that possible? Tell me I card locked red. He doesn't even take a card. You suck. Good. I think I kill black. Set. Let purple retaliate on yellow. Is my plan. Don't card block me. <laughs> Get fucked. Attack red, sure. I'd love to. What's red getting a turn?
out and set is 65. I need more than 65 there. And demilitarize that front. All right, so we're at 144. We are second in place in terms of truth. We've got another set though, right? We've got another set though. Yep. All right, hope purple has a set. If purple doesn't have a set, Yellow gets a gift. They don't. All right, now we hope yellow fucks up the purple kill. Or he doesn't even take a card. He does. Now he fails the, fails the card. Okay, four cards, not five. Not much of a difference. Yellow's going to kill purple. I hope yellow fucks this kill up. All right, and yellow kill purple. Yeah, he gets it. Beauty to purple. We end up in a three-player game. Me, yellow, red. Wonder if yellow bad with me. This will be a cool three-player. So we're all going to be about equal. So it will come down to card blocking in Prague, which I kind of like. Yellow slow. I don't think red's all that fast either. Red has not hit yellow at all this game. All right. True three-player game. Yellow sets. They are now in the lead slightly. I will also set. Red stays card blocked. So does yellow hit red? Or does yellow fuck me up? They hit red. Red's getting beat on. Yeah. Don't actually hit him. They just guard. Mm -hmm. Where does Red put the troops? Excellent. Perfect. See if they take the bait. We open the red stack. Yeah, yellow fucks me. Splits to guard again. He's a garter. Dude, you're not playing a prog game, man. What are you thinking? I have the cheapest cards in the world here. All right. Red takes the easy single, sits on two, or hits a 78. Yes. Hits me too, though. No, I opened a stack and he does my dirty work for me. I love that. I absolutely love that. We are now in a strong lead positionally and in terms of true. I think we win here, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is a winning position. He returns to the center of the launch pad, though. So we still have a solid guarded two point, and I am reserving the right to take cards up in this bonus now. My two point is solid. I have I, I have guaranteed cards in the future, and both of my other two opponents just hit each other. So uh, yellow is incentivized to retake. They can't actually break me because they're off a set. I have an unbreakable position, and I'm going to set next. Yeah, and I have cards on three. Maybe I eat one of these guys and go into the 1v1 with red with their troops locked.
Okay, red gets 15. Hit a little yellow. <laughs> Keep hitting each other, guys. Okay, well, I can address that, I think. I can just kill you. Don't point your stack at me. Do not point your stack at me. I'm faster than yellow. And I got more troops. That's a win, folks. That's a win right there. What a great game. He's going to break all my shit, too. That's fine. Ooh, no set. Okay. No set. I got a couple of punchers. Actually, I only have one puncher open, and it's not pointed the right way. Hmm. All right. Well, in order to get his, the final plus four, he will open the stack. He's so slow, though. Poor guy. Can't really beat me in a 1v1 because he's not fast enough. And there you have it, folks. Speed again. But we take every advantage we can because of how punishing the ranking system is. We're free for all world on. I like this game. This was a fun game. Very strategically interesting and very different from previous Spaceport Sigma pro games. Do the 17. He hits the 17. Wise decision. This guy's good. Well, well fucking played, man. Well fucking played. So I have sorry, our alliance is oh he quit. Good game, he fucking quit. Love that. Alright. Well, not gonna give a bot a good game. Excellent. Very happy with that game. When black stacked on me, I was like, we're gonna kill each other. We're gonna kill each other. We're gonna kill and I figured out how to negotiate with him such that we didn't kill each other. Alliances, folks. <laughs> Alliances. There you have it. Uh, what do we got? We got a one. We got a two. And we got a pocket. And that is game. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob is your uncle. You met your aunt a long time ago on vacation. They had a glorious couple of nights together. Maintained correspondence. Now they got three kids. A uh, bunch of grand seven grandkids. Retired in Florida. You know, it's a love story for the ages. You'll enjoy this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube, uh, both free Pete and the kill Pete strategy, defeating a bunch of beginners. Hey, GG aquatic raccoon, man. I'm glad we didn't kill each other uh, until I killed you. And <laughs> same with green and actually same with everybody. I got almost all the kills this game except for purple. Ho, ho, ho. Hope you enjoyed folks. Hope you, uh, you liked it. And if you did, give me the like, give me the thumbs up, give me the uh, notifications that let you know when we're playing. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. And for all of you on the path to world domination.
good games, good luck.